Hello dear friends, let's talk about problems of Fiat Seicento. The Fiat Seicento is definitely not a hassle-free car. Whatever engine you choose, you have to account for certain costs. The, one, uh, the 0 9 liter engine likes to consume a little more oil, and with the 1.1 uh, engine it often burns the cylinder head gasket and has problems with the ignition coils. Users also complain that Ciento, say Sento, uh, leaks oil on the valve cover, crankcase and crankshaft seals. Engine 0 0.9. When leaking oil from the valve cover, pay attention to the leak between the valve cover and the intake on the cylinder head. On models manufactured to October 1998, bed cylinder head gasket seal. They vary from 70 to 100 kilometers. On models manufactured until July 1998, engine malfunctioning, caused by misinformation from an absolute pressure sensor. The failures were resolved at Fiat's expense. Gas tank. Models built before September 1998 may have problems with gasoline vapor recycling tubes. It manifests itself in noise correction by dealer in late 1998. By replacement of pipe, the biggest cost is the replacement of the engine head gaskets, uh, head gasket, the symptoms boiling coolant or loss of coolant. Crankshaft position sensor problem. You cannot start the engine due to a fault. Transmission. On models manufactured by May 1998, they are preparing increased noise of 16 km, solved at the factory since May. Change since May 2000. Changing the reverse gear. Transmission. Fiat Cienciento produced by 2002 possible incidents on a 50 km box mainly on sporting by July 2000 it could lead to a change of gearbox says Yanto 2001 the start of mechanical earthquakes in the range of 60 to 80 km per hour gearbox manufacturing errors cost this, in extreme cases, may require replacement of the transmission. Clutch on models built before January 1999. Difficulty in changing gears caused by the clutch mechanism. Solved with a new clutch since January 1999. You need to be careful about the front wheel joints, so that the joints do not leak. The rubber cuff stops. The cuffs it themselves are not particularly durable, but they are cheap. If you see any cracks in the cuffs, replace them and check the condition of the joints and lubricate the joints. Corrosion protection is very good. Rust affects only the oldest models. They simply corrode the exhaust system and the fuel tank. Check the fuel tank regu regularly so that it does not expire and start venting. The loud operation of the speedometer cable in the instrument panel area means that it needs to be replaced soon. Seat belt will not roll, roll always. Exterior mirrors. Vibration of the mirror. Slight improvement on models manufactured since May 1999. Malfunctions of alternators, radiator fans, ECU motors or and viper motor. Tail lights. Ba bulb failures normal. Failure, failure of the coolant, cooling fan can cause overheating and serious damage to the engine unless it is noticed quickly. Electronic breakdowns happen often. This is usually a matter of moisture or dirt in one of the many connectors. The most in endangered elements are the forks of the rear forks. During the test drive, make sure no suspension knockings, 
a knocking is heard near the rear wheels, shock absorbers, longevity somewhat limited, less than 80 km, improved sin since 2000. Suspension due to tire wear, the geometry of the ladder should be checked regu regularly. Wheel bearing problems. Bearings. On models manufactured up to, to September 1999, uh, then can become noisy from 50 km, especially in 1998 models. Service actions start in mid 2000. Uh, they, need, uh, they needed to check the brake pedal, possible cracks. At the end of 2000, actions that found a problem with brake pipes. The spring of 2004 was the largest, uh, largest product recalled in the history of the Fiat 600. More than 16 cars were checked for corrosion and leaks from the tank. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.